Ready? <clears throat> Good afternoon. Ukraine has been victim of unprovoked aggression by Russian Federation. The second day was even harder. Uh, the attacks have been more brutal, but I'm very pleased to say that they were not successful, definitely not successful as the enemy planned them. The enemy is clearly surprised by the resolve of the Ukrainian armed forces and volunteers to protect integrity, uh, to protect integrity of our country. We see that they didn't advance the way they planned. We are particularly concerned by the situation in the Chernobyl power plant. We were informing the world, starting from yesterday, that there were fights for this power plant and that Russia completely took over the Chernobyl power plant uh, and the exclusion zone yesterday. Uh, we're even more concerned because they took hostages, 92 members of the operational personnel of Chernobyl power plant. <clears throat> and uh, contrary to the rules of how the personnel should work in shifts and all the very, very strict and uh, regulations uh, uh, that they are not observed right now and all responsibility for the, uh, all the, for the Chernobyl power plant is now lies on the uh, Russian uh, forces and Russian army. Despite the fact that Russian Federation increased the attack on all Ukraine, the Ukrainian armed sources managed not only to keep the situation under control, but significantly uh, stop the Russian army and the advances of the Russian army. In the last two days together, we have destroyed 80 tanks, 10 airplanes, seven helicopters, and 516 armed vehicles of the enemy. And as the result of uh, Mr. Putin's decision to send Russians to kill Ukrainians, uh, 2,800 of Russian soldiers will not be going back to Russia. Our, our president just had yet another very productive call with President Biden, and we have discussed, uh, they have discussed on this call uh, the anti-war coalition and how we align all our, uh, all our uh, plans and we discussed the sanctions and uh, more defense to Ukraine. Uh, but we also see that this anti-war coalition, which now includes 73 countries and nine international organizations, is working hand in hand and, and very united to not only support and defend Ukraine, but also to support and defend the international law we already uh, see today that the European Union and we really uh, European Union decided to freeze the assets of Mr. Putin and Mr. Lavrov, uh, who are responsible for this decision to start the war. We strongly welcome the decision of the Council of Europe to expel Russia from its membership. Uh, as our Minister of uh, Foreign Relations said, all the red lines have been crossed when Russia attacked us. So it's time not only to heavily sanction Russia, but it's also time to exclude them from any organizations where countries that are not peace-loving countries and countries that do not uh, value peace and countries that attack other countries uh, do not have the right to be. Do what it needs to do to get the Russians to step back. Even days before Putin attacked us, our president was very public and always said that he's ready to meet with Mr. Putin and discuss these issues in a peaceful and diplomatic manner. Yesterday, again, in his public statement, our president said that we will defend our country. We, this is the priority number one right now. But of course, we are ready for the peace talks. Now, he also made very clear we are ready for peace talks, but we are not ready to capitulate or surrender. Now, NATO is an alliance, and we need the decision of all 30 members to accept us. And uh, we have been on a very strong path towards working with our friends and allies in NATO on our uh, plan to, in the future, become a member of NATO. Kyiv has been Ukrainian for the past couple of thousand years, and we intend to keep it for the next couple of thousand years.
but the situation in Kyiv, of course, is very difficult right now. The only thing I can say now is what our president said, that at any stage we are ready to, of course, for peace talks, but we are not ready to capitulate or we are not ready to surrender.